Thank you for coming today. We'd like to start the ceremony with our senior slideshow with some special music from our very own Mrs. Tanky.
of wonder You get your fill to eat But never lose that hunger May you never take one single breath for granted God forbid love ever leave you empty-handed I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you give faith a fighting chance When you get the choice to sit it out or dance I hope you dance I hope you dance I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance Never settle for the path of least resistance Living might mean taking chances They're worth taking Loving may be a mistake But it's worth making Don't let some help and soul leave you bitter When you feel like selling out Reconsider Give the hands above More than just a pass when you get the choice to sit it out or dance I hope you dance I hope you dance I hope you dance I hope you Whenever one door closes, I know one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance When you get the choice to sit it out or dance Thank you, Mrs. Tanky. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our welcome, or to thank and welcome to the stage our distinguished guests for supporting the graduates here, here today, starting with our board members. Mike Keller, President, Cory Oyster, Vice President, Peggy Bush, Secretary, Michael Nolan, Trustee, Denise Becker, Trustee, Wendy Byard, Trustee, and Jonathan Nugent, Trustee. Also our superintendent, Matthew Wandry, and the director of the CFI, Matthew Olson. Thank you for taking a chance on the Ombudsman program and supporting these alternative learners in their pursuit of their education. Staff, for a program in its first year, we were able to accomplish a lot. I thank you for that. We look forward to even more success 
next year. Family and friends. Family and friends, while I didn't see any capes as you walked in, I'm sure that some of these graduates, you're nothing less than superheroes. I thank you for your effort, support, and love of these graduates. We know that without you, many of these students would not be participating in this commencement. At this time, I would like to welcome the reason for the ceremony and celebration. Please rise for our ombudsman grads graduates, accompanied by the ombudsman staff. Please welcome Eugene Matthews to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. Please be seated. The diploma you're about to receive is nothing but a piece of paper with some writing on it. It was printed by a print shop that got the job because it was the lowest bidder. If the diploma is so cheap to make, why would we spend years and years pursuing a simple piece of paper? The answer is, it is worth it. You have achieved a status. You have earned something that no one can ever take away from you. You have earned the right to be proud of yourself. As you go forward, you will find that the difficult things are most likely the things that are worth it. In Nevada, there's a gold mine that mines one ounce of gold out of every 40,000 pounds of dirt. Why would they sift through so much for so little? Of course, the answer is it's worth it. A standard yellow pencil costs about 10 cents. A paper clip, clip close to five. I would like to ask yourself, what would you, what would you do for a yellow pencil or paper clip? The answer is most likely not much. As you work, be sure the things that you pursue are worth the effort. Don't waste your time, don't waste your energy or your talents to just end up with a yellow pencil or paper clip. The graduates have worked very hard to be here today. My only advice to you is to continue to work hard for the things that are worth it. Work to achieve your dreams, work to make your own life better, and to make the lives better for the people around you. If you want a successful career, you will have to work hard. If you want, a, if you want successful relationships, you will have to work hard. I beg you to pursue these things for the simple reason that it is worth it. 
My daughter once told me, a failure only happens when you never try again. Remember, as you pursue your dreams, you will stumble and fall. You will feel like the world is against you. There will be no end in sight. Keep working hard. Keep working hard, because when you do, you will succeed like you have here today. Keep working hard, because it's worth it. With that, I would like to further recognize some of the accomplishments of the students here today. Please welcome Ms. Dotson for some awards. Good evening. Good evening, and thank you for coming tonight. I am honored to be celebrating the successes of these young adults in front of us. We have some awards that we'd like to give away tonight that we, as staff, felt that these students earned. If you hear your name called, please step forward. I would like to introduce Mrs. Tanky first to give the first award. Thank you. This award is called the Citizenship Award, and it is bestowed upon a student who has consistently exhibited the kinds of behaviors we want to see in our schools and in our communities. This particular individual has helped others and treats everyone with respect, and I am absolutely thrilled to present this award to Mr. Justin Lohorn. Thank you, Mrs. Tanky. To present our second award this evening, I would like to welcome Mr. Shaver to the stage. The award that I have the honor to give out this evening is the Educational Achievement Award. The, the recipient for this award has made a budsman a better place by doing the following, showing outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or educational development. This individual also works hard and gives their best effort in school. I'm proud to present this, word, this award from one grappler to another because we're both wrestlers, and that is Troy Newman. To present our third award tonight, I'd like to welcome Mrs. Gassel to the stage. Thank you. Okay, I have been asked to present the Educational Excellence Award. This award is given to the student who shows achieving high academic goals, demonstration of high motivation, and displays leadership qualities. And I'm pleased to give this to Brianna Self. Thank you, Mrs. Gassel. Um, we'll be awarding one scholarship tonight, and I would like to welcome Mrs. Caramella to the stage for that. to tip it over. <clears throat> I am um, very honored to have the opportunity to award this scholarship. The Com Lapeer Community Scholarship and Student Loan Fund was initiated about 50 years ago in an effort to bring the Lapeer community and Lapeer schools together for the good of the student and so for the good of us all. The nonprofit organization provides both low interest student loans to Lapeer alumni and awards $5,000 in scholarship money each year. Bank President Mr. Rod Parsh, Counselor Mr. John Sack, and Superintendent Mr. Clyde Schickler were three of the founding board members. And then Bank President Mr. Kirk Carter carried the torch for years. 
You know, it has grown over the decades through donations from our community, and 10 students will receive scholarships in 2015. All of these students have attended Lapeer schools for at least uh, seven years, and that criteria was set decades ago. Currently, over 80 Lapeer Community School alumni have student loans through our fund, and as these borrowers pay back, the money is then loaned to current graduates. The loan fund essentially maintains itself. It's a 5% interest loan, up to $2,000, and then the interest accrues after the student departs from college. If you want more information about the student loans, you can go on LapeerLoanFund.org. But tonight, I would like to announce that our 2015 recipient of the Lapeer Community Scholarship is Sabrina Ballard. Congratulations, Sabrina. Our final award tonight is a special award for many of us, the Senior of the Year Award. The student that we chose for this award was chosen for the following reasons. This individual is a person that earned the respect of those around them. The student shows the potential to be successful as they leave ombudsman into their future plans. This person continually displayed educational excellence. I'm honored to be able to present this award to such a deserving student. Please join me in giving a round of applause for Ms. Aubrey Tolles. Thank you, Ms. Dodson. I would like to introduce one of our board members, a coach, a teacher, a principal, and a friend, Mr. John Nugent. Good evening. When um, Troy asked me to speak, I um, had, did not have this. And I thought I would be not needing this anymore, but I do. So please bear with me as I manage my crutch, my cane. Um, first of all, I, I really want to tell you it is a great honor to be here tonight to speak with you. I look across the audience and I see so many people that are here because they care about these youngsters. Youngsters, I love that slideshow. It kind of almost brought me to tears. I remember some of you from school. I don't know whether it was PE class or history class, but some of you are some of my students and I'm so happy to see you. And it just made me go, where have all those years gone? I'm sure you have felt that same thing. Well, first thing, let me say to our graduates, on behalf of all the members of the Board of Education of Lapeer Community Schools, congratulations, way to go. We're proud of you. But more importantly, let me say, you should be proud of yourselves. I understand finish has been an important word for you this year, hasn't it? Tonight you symbolically cross a finish line. You made it. It is at times like this, I think of the old favorite rock song of mine. Celebrate good times. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing anymore. Sometimes I used to sing in class, so I, I did that just for them just once in a while. Celebration is warranted tonight, and I'll talk about that more later. But right now, realize that you're really not finished. Are they moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, and loved ones out there? They're really not finished yet. It's only the end of the beginning, the end of the beginning chapters of the story of you. 
These opening chapters have, we know, included some challenges, some disappointments, some hardships, some hurts, and hopefully some healings. The old fingers don't work as well as they used to. Bear with me. Thank you. We know that it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been smooth. It hasn't been uneventful. This wasn't a slam dunk. You had to push yourselves. You had to overcome obstacles. But, you know, there's some good that has come from those difficulties, challenges, and hardships. For in the push to finish, you have learned some important things about yourself and the world we live in. First, you've learned that hard work makes a difference. It makes things happen, doesn't it? You know, this has always been the key to getting, it has always been the key to getting what you want in life. A big part of hard work is seeing things through to the end, to the finish. You have learned don't do half and don't quit. Do your best and see it through to the finish. You obviously have learned these lessons well or you would not be here tonight. You probably have heard this a thousand times, but I'm going to say it one more time. You can do anything that you set your mind to and your heart to and are willing to make the effort and the sacrifices to achieve. That's the truth. Secondly, tonight, or, or the second thing I want to point out that, that really you have learned um, is you have learned some important things about yourselves. I bet you learned that you're stronger, tougher, smarter than you first thought. You know, it was Henry Ford who once said, if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you're right. Believe you can and you will. Tonight, all of you obviously thought you could, and that's why you're here tonight, at the finish. So, now the rest of your story begins. Are you scared? Are you a little unsure of yourself and what's going to happen next? Are you worried? All normal feelings. It's all right, rest assured. You faced the challenges this year and you did what needed to be done and you are ready. You can and you will do it again and again. Just remember, it all begins with the first step. Believe in yourself and then keep the feet moving. Left, right, left. So, tonight, do celebrate. Do celebrate carefully and responsibly for a day, maybe two. Just be sure to thank all the people out there that have helped you be finished here tonight. And I know you all have lots of people to thank. And then get started. Get on the next chapter of that wonderful story that is you. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Good night, and God bless y'all. Thank you, Mr. Nugent. We've given a couple of our exceptional ex students uh, the opportunity to speak tonight. First, Miss Aubrey Tolles. Today, some of us didn't think we'd be here, especially me. Standing here today, I look back on my journey that I was one of those students that everyone thought wouldn't make it. It's a pleasure to be here to prove to everyone that doubted me, and it's a pleasure to thank the people that made it possible. I want to thank the people who didn't give up on me when I had given up on myself. I'd like to thank the teachers, Mr. Norman, Ms. Tanky, 
Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Shook, Mr. Shaver, Ms. Dotson, Ms. G, and also my mentors, Mr. Grover and Ms. McKee. But also, I'd like to thank my mother for being by my side every step of the way. Without the help that I've had, I wouldn't be able to move to the next chapter of my life. Congratulations, class of 2015. We did it. Thank you, Ms. Tolles. Now we have another student, Mr. Tyler Enos. These past four years of my life have been an adventure, from going to Lapeer West for a couple weeks then switching to Crampton. This was the best time of my life. With the help of awesome teachers, I don't know where I'd be today. I would like to thank Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Shook, Ms. Tanky, Mr. Norman, Mr. Grover, Mr. Shaver, Mrs. Wagner, and Mrs. McKee. These teachers helped me the whole way and I couldn't ask for, a be for any better teachers. They, they helped me out the whole way. One time I was behind on some work and Mr. Grover hounded me relentlessly. Every time I saw him in the hall, he would ask. He'd, he would come to my classes to check on me. He would even pull me out if that was needed. I didn't like it at the time, but looking back, he was teaching me to never give up. I learned a lot, but the main thing is that to never give up and do your best no matter what. It might not seem worth it at the time, but eventually you'll be happy you did it. Thank you, Mr. Enos. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. Superintendent Wandry, distinguished members of our Board of Education, on behalf of myself and the members of the staff of Lapeer, at Lapeer Ombudsman, I hereby affirm to you that the students presented before you this evening have fulfilled the requirements and expectations set forth by, Lapeer, by the Lapeer Community School District. They are therefore entitled to receive the Lapeer Community Schools or Ombudsman Diploma conferred upon them this evening. I'd like to welcome Mr. Olson, who will be reading the names of our graduates for this evening. Graduates at this time, please rise, front row. Sabrina Ballard. Lauren Butterfield. Tyler Enos. Kyla Francis. <laughs> Haley Hampton. <laughs> Kyle Kelts. <laughs> Sierra Lair. Justin Lohorn. <laughs> Eugene Matthews. <laughs> Troy Newman. Brianna Self. <laughs> Haley Talbot. <laughs> Aubrey Tolls.
Tamara Trammell. And last but not least, Nicole Waiter. Graduates, at this time, Please move your tassels to the left side of your moat board. Please rise. Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the Lapeer Ombudsman Class of 2015. Congratulations to our graduates, and a huge thanks to all of you who have come out tonight to support them. We will be concluding our commencement exercise with a recessional. Please, or please, we ask that you remain in your seats until the graduate staff and honored guests exit the auditorium. You are welcome to take pictures following the, our recessional on and about our stage and in the foyer just outside the auditorium. <laughs> 